Welcome to Defemorember Day 7. Today, let's create something with postage stamps and safety pins. As you know, this is a collaboration with lovely Luise Heinzel, and this is Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So on our prompt list, which you can find linked below, today, day seven, safety pin and postage stamp. Let's see what we can create with that. But first, let's see what Mr. Haribo has in store for us today. Window seven is here. It's a big one. looks like it's a bit of a larger bag and it has gummies with 25% fruit juice. <laughs> I will save these for later because I haven't even had breakfast yet. This is even too much for me. <laughs> Going through my supplies, these are the safety pins I found. So there's basically three different kinds I have here. These and these are once again from Debbie's Happy Mail from the US. So these are called wire pins. They are from Tim Holtz and they have this super fun vintage look. These are the Tim Holtz trinket pins. So they come in three different metal colors. They have numbers on them, super, super cute. And then these are some regular ones that I had on hand, which probably every household has. <laughs> Obviously you can find something like this on Amazon and I think even like this. If you search for vintage safety pins, you will find beautiful pins, all kinds of different pins. You can do that on Amazon, on eBay, on Etsy. But since this is the largest one that I have, I'm going to start with this one. And for postage stamps, you can either use some postage stamps that you might have on hand or Ta-da! This is another freebie for you. And I have printed this on some, I think 160 GSM card stock. I just think these will be easier to play with if they're on something a little thicker, but you could just print it on copy paper. I have printed these at 75%. You have three images here that look like postage stamps. The rest do not, but they can still be used as embellishments for your safety pins. So you can find that link to this freebie in the description box below, and it will be available for one week from today. So today is December 7th, so from today, one week. So usually you would take your safety pin and this works best with some fabric because you can just bend it around your safety pin like this and then you could just glue it together or sew it together and then put an embellishment on here. I think that would be the logical thing to do, but I want something a little bit wider. So what I'm thinking of doing Again, this is something I have never tried, so we'll see how this goes. So I think I first want to cut a piece which is this width only. And this will be the piece that will go around the safety pin like that. So I can cut this off. And then I'm thinking I could you know, glue a bigger piece on like this, or I could glue it on like this. It would be nice if I could just wrap it around so that it's like this on both sides. But first of all, that will make it more bulky, which isn't such a big deal, but I don't have more of this fabric <laughs> and I really want to use that. So I think I'll just sew or glue it on like this. Obviously I'm gonna cut out a different shape and in the back it will be like this which is fine because i think a safety pin embellishment will anyway somehow be attached to your page where you wouldn't necessarily turn it around so i'm okay with this only being one-sided so i'm just going to cut like a square or rectangle out of this yeah 
this gives us a nice large surface to work on and I will actually take this to my sewing machine and sew around here once if you don't want to sew it you just glue this together ideally with a fabric glue but if you don't have a fabric glue something like a tacky glue or something will do as well so here you can see the sewing and now of course we have a bigger surface to play with I think I want to use the sunflower on this one. Now this looks a lot more vintage than this does. So I will go over this with my vintage photo. That's better. Maybe I could add a piece of this beautiful golden lace. Somehow, not sure yet if that's gonna be the right position. Then I have some real vintage buttons. Don't want anything hugely bulky like this. But I do have these cute little golden buttons. I got these locally at a shop. They had like a huge tub outside of their store. And you can just rummage through those and choose some. I think I need to go there again because this is all I have. And I only have one of these cute golden ones left. I don't know if they had any more. I think I pretty much took all they had, which wasn't much. So button is always cute. Potentially a gear for the urban element. Yeah, that might work. That's pretty cute. And then I found this stamp set. I believe this came from Action here, also locally, I'm afraid. And you see here it has these stamps that look like the postage stamp thing. So I'm thinking I could go over that just to give it more of a postage stamp look. You could also hand draw some wiggly lines like this. Yeah, I guess that does look more like a postage stamp now. Maybe a scrap of music paper underneath. Yeah, but that definitely needs some inking up. And then I'm thinking, what if we make this even bigger? Nothing is glued down yet, so I have to be careful. So I'm thinking, because I have some more of this beautiful lace, what if we put this whole thing on a piece of lace and we actually pin the safety pin through this and then cut it off? like that and then that can just be a big piece of embellishment for whatever a pocket or just as a flip up on a page hmm let's cut this and see what it would look like so what do you think is that too much is there such a thing as too much <laughs> i don't know i like both versions i also like just like this or maybe we just do this one for this and then we make another one which maybe just has a little bit less going on maybe i don't know <laughs> okay i'm going to glue everything together just thinking if i'm gonna actually put something through the button i think i should i know it's an extra hassle but i think it's worth the step and i will do it again in black because that's a nice contrast here as well I'll just thread it through once from the top, then back out, and then I think I'll just make a knot, double knot, and then we can leave the ends dangling a little bit again. I think that's kind of cute. It would have obviously been super smart to just sew this fabric right onto the lace, but of course I didn't know that at the time, and I don't want to go over this zigzag now again. So I'm just going to use my fabric glue, but first I will glue all of these parts down. This time I'm not using my top-down gluing method because I have these, like these metal elements, the cogwheel and the button, which kind of make that difficult, and it's not so many pieces, so hopefully I will know how this was. So we have our first piece of ephemera using a safety pin and a faux postage stamp. Shall we make another one? So for this next one, I'm going to use this as my background, my canvas basically, and I will cut it down once I know what size I really want it to be. 
and this time i'm just going to leave this piece as it is and not attach it to a safety pin but rather i'm going to use one of these trinket pins so remember this was from here so you can find these on amazon if you want to check them out and i will use this as an embellishment to this time somehow so i'll kind of make a collage on here and then try to integrate that and this time as a postage stamp i'm going to use a real postage postage stamp <laughs> and let's see what we can find in my book i just love how they look when they're organized by color <laughs> So I want something nature themed and I want something that will go with this fabric. So either a floral or, or we look maybe for a bird or something. This one could be really nice. Or maybe this one. Yeah, I think I kind of like this one because it is more calm, because this background is already fairly busy. So having a calm image here actually is nice. So this is a Polish stamp. Beautiful. Love the gold here, of course. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this. Maybe I can use one of my book spine pieces that I have saved. So when you have an old book and you're using the cover or the pages and stuff, just try to get this off. Sometimes you will be more successful, sometimes less, depending on how well it's glued. It's rare that I can get a full spine off like this. I just kind of pull it off. Sometimes it helps to tear the pages away signature by signature first. It always depends on the book. A lot of times you just get little pieces like this but they're also great for collages so I want a piece that's not too big I think one of these have a good size maybe something that is not super bulky Mm, I do like this one better. Let's see what my box of scraps has to offer. <laughs> Straight away, I see this wallpaper piece, which of course has this beautiful brass gold, which would match our trinket pins. So that's something I might want to add in here. Ooh, doilies doilies are always good <laughs> maybe like that what else is there anything with sewing maybe nope the colors don't work these don't work either hmm music paper Music and birds. Here we go again. <laughs> Always a combination that works, although it is quite predictable. Okay, what else? Do we need some corrugated cardboard? Maybe. Maybe. I'm already dreading gluing this down. <laughs> Maybe some handwriting. Uh, this is from a gardener's journal from 1926. I have the original book, which is super cool. I feel like there's a hole down here. Maybe we can find another part. Maybe here where it says a date, it's it's in German. It says day of the month, and then it says 17th February. How cool is that? Of course, that whole thing is too wide. I'll just take the date. We could then add the pin somewhere up here. 
and maybe I can find something dangling to put here like a charm and then maybe we can also add another cogwheel. I'm just realizing how, per how perfect <laughs> this is given that it's from a gardener's journal because I have my nature theme and it's from February because this is going to be a winter journal so oh my goodness so one thing I want to do is I want to add some gold to this corrugated cardboard. And I'm going to do that again with my watercolor gold. I'm just going to add some water here with my water brush. Super easy and quick. And add some beautiful gold accents to this. Every corrugated cardboard needs some gold accents. <laughs> okay, I will quickly dry this like that. Beautiful and shiny. And I think there's no way around it. I'm going to use my glue gun for this just because it's quicker. So I know where this goes. How do I do this? Top down or bottom up? I'm gonna do top down, see how that goes. So it's very important that all the pieces underneath are where they're supposed to be. I'm going to keep my fingers away from the hot glue and carefully place this down. Okay, that was a huge help. All of these are now connected and add some down here. Look at me and my glue gun getting along nicely. <laughs> so now I want to cut down this piece. Okay, now we still need to add our safety pin. So that will go there. So I do want to add a charm here. And I'd like to add one of these. These are again from Debbie. <laughs> I mean, can you believe all the stuff she sent me? And these are called found object charms. And I'm guessing they are Tim Holtz. I wouldn't know who else makes such beautiful charms. Of course, I'm going to take one of these that have the copper. And then I'll just add a jump ring. Or maybe I'll need two jump rings. One to go in here. Yeah, I think it will lay more flat if I have two jump rings. Nope, I don't like the two jump rings. <laughs> Let me take one off again. I'm going to remove one, see if that looks better. Maybe we don't add a charm, maybe we just do the pin. I think that's better, although, yeah, it, it's obviously not going to be as flat. Let's see what it will look like if we add it here. So I'm just going to put that through. Did you realize before you got into junk journaling how dangerous this hobby is? <laughs> I injure myself all the time, seriously. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, this really bugs me. It is super bulky here. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Okay, I'm going to change this and add some twine where that jump ring is. So I took the jump ring off. I'm going to again use my black embroidery thread and thread that through the hole and then thread that through the charm and just knot that there. Easy solution, no bulk. Do you want them hanging? Do I want a bow? Try a bow. Yeah, bow it is. Again, this glue dot will disappear. I just want the bow to stay intact. And now, as you can see here, <laughs> I again want to add my Distress Oxides. Again, you can use any kind of other markers or pens if they're water soluble. I want to add some of these, some of this rusty hinge. going to take my water brush and just kind of add that like this. Mm 
And then on the cleaned acrylic block, I will add some of this peacock feather. This time I will try to do it a bit more randomly. This is such a strong color, I do need to be careful. Can I just kind of dip this maybe? <laughs> because this, if I dump this over this, it's gonna go everywhere. So I'm thinking maybe I can just kind of dip it. Mm -hmm. No, maybe not. <laughs> I'm too much of a chicken. <gasps> I don't want it to be so controlled. Like I want it to look like it's random. Okay, I dried this for a second with my heat gun and I'm not liking these colors at all. They look way too pastel-y. I want them to be more like the original colors here. So I'm going to try what I did with the other embellishment that we made and go straight over this. Yeah, that gives me the beautiful rusty color that I want. I should have done that from the beginning. Oh well, it's all a learning process. Yeah, look. That's what I wanted. Now see, this is our button card where we used the same colors, the same technique, and they fit together really well. I think something like this could also be a cute cover piece for a journal, for a smaller journal maybe, or even for a bigger one if you add more things in the background. So here we have our two embellishment pieces we made today using safety pins and postage stamps. Go and play and have fun experimenting. Try these prompts. Don't forget to check out the playlists below, both Louise's and the one from all the other artists. I'm sure there's a lot of fun and inspiring videos there as well. Thank you for being here and hope to see you back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Mwah! Mwah!